In previous versions of ArcGIS for Power BI, a report designer could drive visuals on the report page using the Power BI data layer. This data layer can come from many different sources. In this example, I'm using an Excel table that contains my data. As you can see, the visuals are updating when I choose locations on the map. I can also filter locations on the map using the graphs and charts. In addition to filtering the Power BI data using the selection tools, we can make use of a reference layer to select the Power BI data within a given boundary. In this example, I'm selecting different zip codes, which then filter the Power BI dataset. In version 2020.4, we can use ArcGIS for Power BI to create a layer join between your ArcGIS reference layer and non-spatial attributes in your dataset. If your Power BI data does not contain spatial information, such as addresses or coordinates, you can link data attributes from Power BI to those from a reference layer added from ArcGIS to provide deeper insight into your data. You can join the data layer and the reference layer by linking common attributes in each data set. To use the layer join feature, Ensure that the ArcGIS reference layer contains attributes that match those in the Power BI dataset. The name of the attribute does not have to be identical, but the data type must be the same. You join numbers to numbers, strings to strings, and so on. To start, add the ArcGIS for Power BI visual to the report page. You can use Power BI Desktop or Power BI Online to create the map-enabled report. You can perform this layer join both with and without Power BI data. Next, drag a non-spatial attribute from the Fields pane to the Visual's Join field well. You can add up to five attributes to this field. As a general note, if the map does not contain a data layer with spatial information, the map appears empty. Next, Add a reference layer from ArcGIS to your map. Ensure that the reference layer you choose contains attributes that match those in your Power BI dataset. Each reference layer can have its own layer join. In the layer list, click Layer Options to view the context menu and click Layer Join. The layer join pane appears. The data attributes you picked in the join field appear on the left, and attributes in the reference layer appear in a drop down menu on the right. From the drop down menu, choose the reference layer attribute that most closely matches the Power BI attribute. You must join at least one attribute to create a join. If you placed more than one attribute in the join field well, Use the drop-down menus to match each attribute. You can match up to five attributes for each reference layer. When you've matched all the attributes, click Create Join. As you select locations on the Join reference layer, other visuals on the report with attributes that match those in the reference layer automatically update. If no match exists, a message appears stating that no results were found. You can also select items and other visuals on the report and the map will immediately update to reflect those changes. When a reference layer has been joined to data attributes, a link icon appears in the layers entry in the layer list. You can change the settings for the layer join at any time. In the layer join pane, click Remove Join. You can drag a new field from your Power BI data into the Join field well and match it with the corresponding attribute in the reference layer. You can also remove or select already existing attributes. Click Create Join and the layer join will be updated with the new values.